If you love me, I gotta work for the both of us. Put you in the driver's seat. Don't gotta hurry in the middle. What's up, what's up, my LV besties? Welcome back to another video. My name is Candy, and if you're new here, thank you so very much for joining my channel. And if you're not new here, thank you so very much for jumping back on to another video. I just want to first start off by saying I appreciate you guys so very much. If it were not for you guys, I would not have this channel up and going today because I would not have a reason to get in front of this camera and do videos over one of the things that I do love the most as far as a material thing goes, and that is handbags. So if you love handbags and all that pertains to it, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button because on here I do a lot of unboxings and a lot of comparisons and just a lot of videos in general that pertains to bags as I mentioned earlier. And so also hit the bell if you want to be notified every single time that I upload a video. Another thing is that I just want to tell you guys how appreciative I am of the comments that I got from you guys from my last video. I know I got on here and poured my heart out to you guys and the comments that I received were so encouraging and so helpful and were so wonderful and it just showed how much compassion you guys do have for other people and what's going on in other people's lives and I could not be more grateful of all the videos I've done, I'm probably the most grateful for that one because of the outpour of love that you guys showed to me on that video regarding my family. And you guys really did make an impact on me when I read all of the comments. And so I will say that the video did help me in general because it, it did help me get my mind off of what's going on once I started showing the bag and then I went and edited and all of that. So it did help me very much to do something to get my mind off of it. And making these videos is definitely something that I do love to do. And so I'm glad to be back on here. Am I still concerned about things? Absolutely. But in the meantime, I'm just going to try to not think about things. And hopefully we will have good news on both of those people soon. And I can finally like literally like rest. But when people come together and they're praying for you and they're sending you best wishes and positive vibes and all of that stuff, it really does help lift your spirits and get you back motivated to do things that you weren't doing when you were down and depressed. So I appreciate you guys so much again for all that you commented and all that you said. And like I told you guys, in the past video, as long as I'm not stressed out or having a bad day dealing with some things, then I'm going to get on here and do a video because it really was very helpful. Okay, I do not have a bag of the video, but I have a strap of the video and this came off of the Ivy bag that I just unboxed a few days ago and this is a strap that I'm not going to use. I showed you guys my alternatives for the Ivy bag and I even have a few more that people have suggested such as the Bachetta strap or the caramel strap that goes with my Neon Away bag up there. Both of those are going to be good. So I don't have a use for this black strap. It is a crossbody and it does adjust a few different ways. So if you guys are interested in a strap, it is for sale. I will have the price linked in my description box below and you guys can reach out to me through Instagram Messenger or Facebook Messenger or on here. So anyways, let's get on with the video. So today's video is my 10 least carried bags, but ones that I also will not let go of at the same time. So you guys know I have so bags that, that I had not used or was not going to use or was not planning on using, but I do still have bags that aren't being used as much, but I would never get rid of them. And I have my reasons of why I would never get rid of them. And these are not going to count the bags that I've recently showed on here because I haven't had time to really put those bags to use a whole lot. So these are going to mostly be bags that I've already had. And I will tell you guys why I don't use them as much and also why I'm not going to let them go at the same time. So I'm going to first start off with my Speedy 25 from the By the Pool collection of 2021. And whenever I had my pink bag sale, this was the only one that I kept. And my reason for it was because 
there's just something about the color combo in this bag that really makes me think of the beach. And I first seen this bag when we went to California and I went into the Louis Vuitton store down on Rodeo Drive and I almost bought it then, but at the time I just wanted an everyday bag because my collection wasn't as big as it is now. So that was more of what I was interested in was an everyday bag. So I left this bag there or not this one in particular, but one just like it. And I never stopped thinking about this bag because I remember it just being so beautiful and it 100% definitely gives me beach vibes. However, that's really about the only thing that it does do for me is give me beach vibes. And it's not that I don't think it won't match my clothing or it wouldn't be a good bag for the spring or summer because clearly you can see it would match this shirt very well because the pink kind of matches the pink on the bag. So it's not that I don't think that it would match some of the things that I have. It's just a bag that I would wear here and there. And when I say that, I mean by like I would wear this bag if I wore this shirt type of thing because I'm not going to carry this bag with every single outfit that I have on because it's going to clash with a lot of things that I wear. So this bag is one that only gets worn when it matches something or going to the beach because again, like I can just see myself walking hand in handle down the shoreline with this bag. Is that gonna happen? Probably not because I don't want to risk getting water and sand or something that could splash up on it or whatever, but I definitely would take it out to dinners and that sort of stuff. And when we go to the beach, I wear a lot of like solid pink dresses or pink shirts and even yellow like so this will be one that I do use more as time goes on. I just haven't had it an extremely long amount of time. So we're getting there. We are getting there. It's not even really a seasonal bag, I guess, because like I said, I would wear this bag with the shirt that I have on. Then I would take it right back off and put my things back into a neutral bag and this would set on my shelf. So that's why this bag is definitely one of my least carried, but... I don't think I could ever get rid of this bag. If there's any tropical place that this really reminds me of, I would go with Hawaii. And I actually call this my Hawaiian bag. Even though I have not been to Hawaii, I plan on going there. And if I do, and when I do, that's not an if, when I do, this bag is definitely going with me. So bag number one is my Speedy from the By the Pool collection of 2021. Okay, so the next bag is my on the go in the size MM in reverse monogram canvas. And do I love this bag? Oh, absolutely I do. But do I carry it a whole lot? I absolutely do not. And the reason why is because I do have back issues and this is not a lightweight bag. And this is also not one that I'm going to reach for on a day-to-day -day basis because of my back and the weight of the bag without anything in it. So once I add my things to it, it adds even more weight to it. I will say it's helpful because it does have two shoulder straps so I can put it on my shoulder and carry it like that. And that is helpful, but with my back, I don't like anything that weighs down one side of my body more than the other. It really puts a lot of strain on whatever side of my body that I'm carrying a heavy bag on. So for that reason, it's not an everyday practical bag for me. However, there are times that I do want to carry this bag, such as when I am traveling, especially like a road trip or something, because I can pile all of my things in here that I'm going to need in the car, even pile like a smaller bag, like one such as like the Ivy or the mini bum bag or something like that to take out when we are going out and about on a road trip or even going on an airplane. This is a good one 
because I can put my iPad down in here my, and snacks and so many things that I couldn't get in other bags. And I do like that it's a structured bag. I do love the look of it. It's a beautiful bag. I'm definitely glad I chose the medium size versus the GM because I really think that that one would have been worse on my back. But once again, this is more of an overnight road trip type of bag that I can just put so much down in that I won't be traveling with very far as my foot that is <laughs> because in the car we're good. It's going to hold everything that I want to carry and more. So that is why I would never get rid of this bag because it is my one and only Louis Vuitton tote bag and the only one I will probably ever have. I don't see myself ever buying any more of the on the goes that come out, but I am glad to at least have one in my collection for those times that I am traveling when I need to just reach in and grab something out of here. It's, it's so easy to do that because it is an open bag. So definitely one that sets really well in the back seat of the car. And yeah, so bag number two that does not get used very often, but would never get rid of this bag is the On The Go MM in reverse monogram. Okay. Okay, the next bag is my heart bag. I think my reasons for this are very obvious. The fact that it's a heart-shaped bag and also one that's not super easy just to get your things in and out of or my hands in and out of. So this is obviously more of a novelty bag in my opinion, but I think it is super, super gorgeous. I think it goes really well with the time of the year, such as like Valentine's Day or even honestly Christmas because of the colors. But I guess maybe, I don't know about Christmas, but we're going to go with Valentine's Day for sure. But any other special occasion too, like, I don't know, like a, if you want to dress up really cute for like a date night or something and you're wearing all red or all black, this bag is really going to pop and it's going to be a noticeable bag. That's for sure. Because this bag is definitely one you are going to see coming at you because of the shape of it. But the shape of it is what keeps it from being one of my least used bags. And I'll show you guys about the opening. So it has two zipper pulls on the top of it. And so opening it up is not a big deal at all, but the bag doesn't open up very wide. So it is, like I said, a little more difficult to get things in and out of this bag and also how you place your things in there as well. The shape does not allow you to just throw your things in there and go. You're going to have to kind of rearrange things and then also make it to where you can grab your more important things out of it and that sort of thing. So to me, without a doubt, this is an occasional bag and I do love it. It's so very cute. And I know that, you know, with my age, like heart bags, like some people are like, really? Like, isn't that more for a child? Well, yeah, I guess maybe you could say so, but then again, you would also have to care about what people think about you. And therefore, I really don't because like I said before, to when you dress this bag up, it's really going to pop and the bag is really going to get a lot of attention. And anytime I have worn this bag, I have always got compliments on it, but it's definitely not an everyday bag and it's definitely one of my least used bags. But how could I sell this bag, you guys? Like, how could I? This bag is so unique in every which way possible from the shape of it to the lighting on it. It's supposed to look like you took a lipstick and wrote Louis Vuitton across it. It's got a heart with an LV on the back of it. So yeah, it's just a vibe and I'm all about a vibe. I am. Okay, so bag number three is my heart bag from the Fall in Love collection and I want to say it was in 2020 but I am not absolutely positive on that. Okay, so moving on. So the next bag would be my Speedy 25 from the My Heritage collection, which has my initials across it. So this is a bag that I was wanting, or I wanted a My Heritage bag with my initials on it. And so 
my husband said he would get this for me. And I can't remember if it was Christmas or my birthday, one or the other, because I had this one and the World Tour bum bag back to back and my birthday and Christmas is back to back. So I can't remember which one was which because it's been a few years now. So anyways, but it was definitely a gift from him, which I definitely went in and chose the colors and all of that. But this is a bag that doesn't get carried much because of that right there. I don't want the paint to chip or scratch on this bag. I want to try to keep it looking just like this for as long as possible. Now, does that mean I'm not going to carry it or haven't carried it or won't carry it? No, but it's not one that I'm going to reach for and carry for a straight two or three weeks or something like that. So this is once again, just an occasional bag. Just say I'm wearing a shirt that has like this color orange in it or any other neutral color that this color is going to enhance my outfit. So that's when I choose to wear this bag is really like depending on my outfit or whatever, but it's definitely a bag I'm coming back home and maybe not the same day, but the next day changing my things out of and putting over into a everyday bag. Because even though the Speedy 25 is an everyday bag, this particular one is not. And of course, the reason is very obvious as to why I would not sell this bag. And that's because it has my initials across it and my initials mean a lot to me. And also because my husband got me this bag for Christmas or birthday, whichever one I can remember. But mostly because it has my initial. So it's a sentimental reason. So this bag will obviously never leave my collection. I did have a comment on another video where I showed this bag and someone had the same initials as I do. And she commented and, and said, if I ever got rid of this bag to please let her know because she has the same initials. And I thought that was so sweet, but no, I could never get rid of this bag. So bag number four is my Speedy 25 from the My Heritage Collection Bandolier style. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Okay, bag number five is my Neo Noe with the shearling that goes all the way around the top of the bag and the top of the handle. Now on the inside, it does just have microfiber lining, but, it has the shearling on the top of the bag that is going to be pressed up against me when I wear the bag. That is reason number one that I don't wear this bag as much is because I want to keep the shearling all nice and neat. However, I want it to be here if I do want to wear the bag because I absolutely adore this bag so much. And by the way, this is in the BB size and you guys already know how much I love the on away bags. So this is my only one in the size BB. I absolutely love this bag. It is so darn cute, but I've got to pace myself with this bag so it doesn't get ruined. And then the second thing is the fact that it looks like a winter bag. It, I mean, it's got this shearling around it. So it definitely gives off winter vibes 100%, but I do think, you know, fall as well, but the weather does start getting cooler and such in the fall. So just depending on our weather here in the state that I live in makes a difference of whether or not I could carry this bag in the, in the fall because sometimes we have a warm fall and sometimes cold weather does start in the fall. So the fact that this looks like a winter bag plays a big role in why this bag is one of my least used bags because I just think it just it totally gives off like snow skiing vibes, um, 20 degrees below and you're wearing coats and all of that kind of stuff. Like this is just definitely the vibe it gives off to me. And you guys might think differently, but I just see it as a winter bag. And then I also see it as one I want to keep forever for those cold days that I do decide to wear this bag without the shearling rubbing off on the back, on the back, and then also keeping it protected from anything that might get on the shearling. So far, I have worn this bag several times and nothing has happened to it. The shearling still looks great. 
and there's been no color transfer or dirt or anything get on this bag. So I love this bag so very much, but it is a definitely one that, that I'm probably not ever going to wear unless the weather is cold. As far as selling this bag, there is absolutely no way. There is no way that I would sell the Neil No Way <laughs> because it's just, just irreplaceable, if you ask me. I don't think I could find a cuter winter bag such as this, and that's my opinion. Like, this is one of the fa my favorite winter bags, and, and you guys, I'm really not one to buy, like, the, the teddy bags and such because we don't have the cold weather like most states get. So, one or two winter bags for me is good enough. So far, this one has been the favorite one that I've seen come across Louis Vuitton's website. So, bag number five is the Neo No A in the BB size monogram canvas with the shirling on the top of the bag. Okay, so bag number six is my Capucines in the metallic gray. This bag is one of the most beautiful bags that I think that I own and that I think that Louis Vuitton has ever put out as far as the Capucines go. I really love the color of this bag. I love that it's metallic. I love that it's got a shimmer to it. I love that it's hardware blends in with the bag. It does feature some silver as well, but the whole bag is metallic gray. Like how beautiful is that? The bag has feet and the chain is just gorgeous because it's got that chain that has the same pretty leather as the bag does that runs through the hardware. I like that the hardware that it has on it is silver. So that's the things that I love about this bag. The reason it is a least carried bag of mine is because a Capucines in general would always be one of my least carried bags. To me, this is not an everyday bag. This is a great date night bag, a nice event bag, just one of those kind of bags that I would only carry if I am going to something like an event or a nice dinner or something like that. So those reasons right there is just enough reasons for this bag to be one that I don't reach for a whole lot. Ever when I thought about buying a Capucines bag, did I think that it would be an everyday bag for me? And there's a lot of people that probably do use theirs as everyday, but myself, I'm just not going to. It's another bag that I'm going to take to one of those things that I just mentioned, come home, change out of it, and put my things over into the everyday practical bags or whatever. But yet I will carry it on special occasions and there are so many special occasions that come up in our lives that we are not prepared for or, or know about or anything in the future. So this bag is always here and ready if I need one of those really nice, beautiful bags to carry on my arm or on my shoulder. So the Capucines BB in the metallic gray is a least carried bag, but I would never sell this bag. And it has been my favorite Capucine because of the color. I love that it's a darker color, so that's going to eliminate color transfer and anything else that could show up on light bags. It's not going to show up on this bag as much. So I love that part, but yeah, this one I am not reaching for a whole lot, but I also could not bear to get rid of this bag. Like there's no way because it's just like my baby Capucine. I invested a lot into this bag. It will get its use over time. It's just going to be a lot less than my Neo no way up there with the caramel or the black or whatever. That, that's what I'm comparing these bags to or ones like that that I carry all of the time. So bag number six is the Capucines in the metallic gray that came out in 2023. All right. Are you guys surprised at all that this would be another bag that's going to be one of my least carried bags? And once again, going back to when I did my pink handbag, vlog sale. I sold all of my pink bags except for one and then I ended up buying a couple of more pink bags that I seen myself carrying more and this was one of them. I did have a Kusin bag in the a very light shade of pink but this this was the bag that when I laid my eyes on it from Haley's Rooms video I 
literally could not stop thinking about this bag. I had to have it even though I knew this would not be used a whole lot but it's here when I need it or when I want it. And the reason why it's not one that's going to be used a whole lot is because it's a pink bag and I don't carry colored bags as much as I carry monogram canvas bags, the Dom Yaya Bean canvas bags, or my black on prompt leathers because those are my most carried bags. So the color plays a big role in it. However, I don't regret it. This bag is like top notch when it comes to pink bags. If I could only have one pink bag, this would be it for sure. Like I would never need another one. However, I do still have a few, but again, like I said, if I could only choose one of my pink bags, this one would be it. Even though I said, I'm not going to show like my recently unboxed bags, but this is one that I know for a fact that's going to be a least carried bag. Once again, I definitely see this going to the beach with me for like beach outings, <laughs> not going down swimming and putting it in the sand or anything like that. So we're not taking that route with it, but all the other things that you do when you go to a tropical resort or tropical location of any kind. So definitely going to be a least used bag and I, would I ever sell it? Oh my gosh, no. Like, no. This bag is the utmost beautiful pink bag I have ever seen in all of my life. So Hands down, without a doubt, you guys will never see me get rid of this bag, but you may not ever see me carry this bag a whole lot either. Well, I guess you guys really don't see, <laughs> see me carrying too much of anything in general. But anyways, if you pass me on the streets, you know, if you're hanging out in a good old Lone Star State of Texas, uh, then, then you might see me, but it's not going to have this on my shoulder more than likely. Oh, oh, but also I would dress this up with the right outfit. So this is not just a beach bag. This would be a certain outfit bag as well. So whatever this bag would look good with, as long as I was going to a nice place or somewhere that I know my bag will not get messed up or anywhere that anything could run it, then I would actually wear this bag with certain outfits. This is a lifetime bag. But anyway, so yeah, my bag number seven is my Kusin bag in the Rosa Bonbon. Super gorge. I love it so much. And All right, bag number eight is my Never Full BB and I don't know. <laughs> like, I hate even like saying this, but it's so little. However, it holds a ton. It really does. But it's a definite grab and go bag. So there's really no particular reason why this is a bag that I have not used a whole lot or probably plan on using a whole lot. But I could never get rid of it because I think it is just the cutest bag. It's the first never full BB that they have came out with. I think it is absolutely adorable. And I think it's a really good like grab and go bag. It's just going to be when I decide to grab it and go. It's, and I don't know when that's going to be, but there will be times that I do. For example, when we go on our cruise, I'm probably going to take this and take this to like some of the shows that they do on there and stuff like that because it's so compact and I can just set it down in my lap. And as I'm walking through the crowd, I can wear it on my shoulder or carry it in my hands. It's not going to get in the way of the 9 million people that are walking beside me or any of that kind of stuff. So yeah, I really just don't have a reason, <laughs> but it's one that would never leave my collection because it's just I mean, it's an iconic bag now to me. It's a baby never full. Like, how could I get rid of this bag? And then also, this is going to be a bag that I probably pass down to one of my grandchildren one day. So, the never full BB is a least use bag, but a forever stay in my collection bag. So, my never full BB is a bag number eight. Okay. 
Bag number nine is my YSL envelope bag in the size medium, I believe. I always get the sizes mixed up with the YSL bags, but it's definitely not the large. So it's, I think it's the medium. I'm almost positive. Yeah, yeah, it is the medium. So this is a bag that I think is absolutely so stunning. It's going to be absolutely so stunning stunning at like a wedding or somewhere like that because to me this is just a dressy bag and, and again I know there's a lot of people that probably dress this bag down and wear it casually but myself this is a dress up bag all the way 100% so like I said a wedding or once again a nice dinner date or a nice outing or anywhere that you're going that you're dressing up I think this bag is perfect for that but wear this bag to my daughter's football game no no. Wear this bag to Walmart? No. Wear this bag to Vegas? Yes. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. Somewhere like Vegas where I'm going to dress up and I can show this bag off. And I, that might not be good. I don't know. But that is somewhere like I would wear this bag as far as like a city goes or something like that. Any place that I can fit, dress this bag up would definitely be a place that I would wear it, but it's going to have to be one of those things. And a, another occasional bag, and I will say the bag holds a pretty good fit, so it's not like it's teeny tiny or anything. And it does have a back pocket that my phone will fit in. The pocket is pretty good and structured, so it might be kind of difficult getting the phone in and out of it, but I would make it work because if I'm at one of those events then or places, then I'm not going to be on my phone as much unless I'm taking pictures. And if I'm taking pictures, I'm not really going to care about it going in the back of my bag. So definitely this is a bag that I'm not going to use a whole lot and that I have not used a whole lot. I love that it is crossbody. I will say that. Like, that really helps it out a ton because when you do dress up nice, like this bag is so beautiful on. And I was actually influenced by just somebody on my Facebook that had this bag on. And once I seen this bag on that person, I had like had to go buy it. I just had to because it's that beautiful, but I want to keep it that beautiful and I want it for, to be for special things. And that's what I'm going to use it for. So my, another one of my least carried bag is hands down my YSL envelope bag in the size of medium with the silver hardware. And the reason why I would never sell it is because it's just glamorous. Like it's going to enhance every outfit that you put on and it's going to really stand out. I don't have a whole lot of YSL bags. So the ones I do have are the ones that I am keeping. YSL is a great brand. It's not one that I want a whole lot of bags from. So therefore, this one is my dressy YSL bag and it's here to stay forever and it's just so so gorgeous so bag number nine is my ysl envelope bag in the black with silver hardware okay last bag coming up so bag number 10 is going my side trunk bag in the color tan as louis vuitton calls it but to me it's more of a caramel color or like a honey brown or something like that so whatever who cares about the color my reason that it's a, one of my least carried bags is because you guys it's just one that i want to take care of and make it last for the rest of my life and i know that all of these bags are ones that we should make want to last. I do know that. But a lot of the bags I don't baby and I just go with it. And they just get carried anywhere and everywhere and all of that. And so this one is one that I'm just not going to do that with. Because this is just a very special piece in my collection. I love this bag so much. I have three side trunks. I have it in monogram canvas. And then I have it back here as you guys can see in the black leather with silver hardware 
well i love all of them but this one is one you also can't get again as other bags are but when i bought this bag i knew that it was going to be one that was going to be used on certain occasions now this is a bag i think you can dress up or dress down it doesn't really matter it's a neutral bag it's going to go with anything that you put on but it's going to have to be somewhere that i know this bag is not going to be in danger <laughs> but i had to choose out of all of my bags like this is this is one that would be a top five bag because the side trunks are just one of my favorite bags in general and then the color of this one just is everything it really is just everything so that's why it's one of my least uses because i really just want to take care of this amazing leather and yet still wear it at the same time it's just going to be certain times certain places and such as that once again we're not heading to a football game with this we're not heading to a day out of the park, a picnic. I don't know. We're not doing those things, but we are going to carry this to a nice dinner or a nice place of business or whatever. Okay, I'm starting to get tired. <laughs> I really am tired. It's been a long day. This week is the week of cheer tryouts for my daughter. She only has two more years, you guys. So this year and next year, and then she's done with cheer. So anyways, so I've had a, a long weekend already, and then you guys already know my the rest of the stuff. So I am tired, but anyways, this is definitely a least used bag. It's going to just be carried on occasions and then do i even need to say why i would not sell this bag because come on like i would be insane to let this bag go f because of the beauty of it i mean it's just completely stunning in every way possible i literally would buy every side trunk if i could and no matter how many side trunks i get this one's still always going to be top notch so yeah literally love it so much so least carried but never never ever would i let this bag go so my tr side trunk in the caramel color leather is my bag number 10 and so that is 10 bags out of my collection that are my least used that are my here and there bags but are also ones that i would never let go of so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and once again if you have not subscribed to my channel please consider doing so and if you enjoyed this video give me a good old thumbs up and leave me a comment in the comment section and let me know you your least carried bag, but one you would never let go of either. And I am going to let you guys go as I always do with, I hope you all have a great morning, day, evening, or night, whatever the time of day it is that you're watching this. And for me, as always, you guys, it is a good night. And I will see you guys back real soon with another video. Bye. Cause we stay in control in the name of love